Good Friday evening to you. We've got some breaking news happening right now out of Marlin, Texas. It is the day animal advocates there and around the country really have been waiting for. I've just confirmed that after nearly five months, the Texas Rangers, they are the lead law enforcement agency in the state of Texas. They are indeed investigating the animal cruelty case out of Marlin, Texas from January. The case, of course, gaining nationwide attention after a person went into the Marlin, Texas animal shelter back in January, making a very disturbing discovery. At least one dog dead, other dogs just skin and bones, and even other dogs found dead in a dumpster down the street, dog bowls in the shelter full of dirt. The man then posted his video to social media. Now, the animal control officer at the time, Nicole Grams, resigned. She wasn't fired, she resigned and never faced any charges in connection with the case. Her supervisor, the police chief, James Hummel, asked the person who made the discovery to take down the video posted on social media. The guy said, no way. And that's when the chief reportedly went into the shelter, started cleaning up and getting rid of the dead dog's body. Falls County Sheriff Joe Lopez at first telling local media he hoped Hummel had not cleaned up the scene for fear of the possibility of tampering with evidence at a possible crime scene. But right after that, the investigation stalled with Sheriff Lopez giving different reasons why he didn't move forward. As for the Marlin mayor, Susan Bird, she allegedly admitted she told Chief Hummel to clean up the scene, or as she put it to local animal advocates, clean that shit up. Her words, not mine. As far as Falls County District Attorney Jody Gillum, she's never said a word publicly. She reportedly declined to investigate the case, also refused to call in the Texas Rangers. See what the animal advocates did? The group Justice for Marlin Dogs had put up billboards, yard signs, held weekly rallies in front of the courthouse. Now, I spoke with Dorothy Sanders. She's one of the lead members of that group. And that group has been working around the clock on this and has essentially been investigating the case. And I caught up with her just a few moments ago. Take a listen. Did you think this day would ever come? Actually, I did. I had faith because I knew the evidence that we had. And I knew if we got it out of the county, somebody would listen. So I did have faith that they would eventually listen and, and turn this into investigation. People were saying in Texas, things like that, that and as we know, get swept under the rug. Yeah, it, and Marlin is notorious for things getting swept under the rug, which I think helps us be more, more resilient and more persevere more so that we wouldn't allow them to sweep this one under the rug. Now, I've also confirmed that when the group handed over the pile of evidence to Governor Greg Abbott's handlers, that was back in March, I believe. They said they'd look at it. And then about three weeks later, the governor's office assigned the case to a special advisor. And that's how the Texas Rangers got involved. Not from the district attorney, not from the Falls County Sheriff, but yes, from the Marlin Dog Advocates. At first, it was, an only an, it was only an inquiry status. Now it's officially been bumped up to an official investigation. I've reached out to the key players in Marlin for months I've never heard anything back from them. Maybe that will soon change. Stay tuned, of course, for more on this new Texas Rangers investigation into the Marlin, Texas Animal Shelter and the key players, the politicians in that city. Definitely more to come.